guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to stop your hamster from bar biting. Now this is a thing that I've struggled with quite a lot because at the moment I haven't got that many variety of hamster toys because the places I get my stuff from haven't got many new hamster toys recently. Um, so what happens is at early times in the morning, like three, four, five, six, or maybe even one in the morning, um, Fudge has been getting bored, so he would decide to bar bite. Um, and this obviously woke me up, and with me going to school and everything, this has been quite a bad thing. So I've come up with various ways to stop it. They might not happen for you, they might not work for you because obviously every hamster is different but I'd say just try all of these methods and hopefully at least one of them will work for a few people. So let's get started. One that most people will tell you to do is to put olive oil on the bars. Um, I have done this recently and it has finally worked for me. But what I did wrong was do not use vegetable oil or sunflower oil. Because at the time, I didn't have olive oil. So I said, oh, I'll just try vegetable or sunflower oil because they're safe for hamsters. But they are safe for hamsters. The only problem is that they like it. So it encouraged him to bar bite more, which was obviously not what we wanted. So... Make sure you use olive oil instead of sunflower or vegetable oil because it will encourage them to bar bite more than anything. I like to take kitchen roll instead of uh, tissues or toilet paper because it's thicker um, and it does mean that it absorbs it quicker but oh well it doesn't go dripping through and it doesn't go everywhere so I think it's worth it. So you're just going to fold that until it's the size that you want it to be and you're just going to pour it onto it or if you want a less messy way you can just do this because often when you pour it it just goes everywhere a generous amount on your tissue rub it against the bars you want to completely coat them and put it all over the cage Remember to wash your hands because this does get very messy and sticky and oily. You have spare tissues or toilet roll or whatever on side because these things get sticky. Just gently blow on your hamster's nose, but of course this isn't the greatest thing if they're on a high platform or if they're on the other side of your room or anything because if you're having to get out of bed to blow on their nose and you're not really gonna be happy so only do this if it's an easy option um or if they're very close but if not go to one of the other methods because this is only a short-term thing if you're very close to them so only use it if you're close to them another thing i found you could do was that you could have an extra long playtime with them because they're probably bar biting because they're bored or they want to be let out or anything like that. So letting them out for a bit um, would be a good idea. Um, if they're bar biting while you just put them in then play with them for a bit longer, obviously if you're too tired then don't bother because if it's like two in the morning then you don't want to be getting up and playing with your hamster so only do this if it's a reasonable hour or if you're not trying to sleep but or you could just play with them for longer before you put them away and go to bed just as a bit of advice you could give them something to do by randomly sprinkling seeds around their cage so that they have to find them or even putting them under their sawdust so that they have to dig for it as a little extra thing that they can do or if it's in the night just give them a little something to chew on like seed or put an extra chew in 
or around where the bar biting, try to put a bit, lots of wood stuff there to chew on in case they're bar biting because they haven't got anything to chew on. If you do something to a hamster to tell them that they've done something wrong, like blowing on their nose or patting on their bum, um, if they're bar biting in, at early hours, you could do that to show them that what they're doing is wrong and give them treats before, but then if they're bar biting, don't give them treats. Just tr try to tell them that bar biting is something wrong, so just do whatever you do to kind of tell them that they're doing something wrong. I hope one of these methods worked for you and your hamster. Um, I hope that you can, if not, learn to stop your hamster from bar biting. Um, and if you have any other methods that weren't mentioned, then put it in the comments. And if not, then subscribe, like, and I'm Cat. This is Fudge, and this is Salmon Cat Hammies. And thanks for watching. Bye.